as cryptocurrencies are crashing continually every single day. In this video, we have some information showing signs that we are actually getting very close to the bottom, but we are also going to be realistic and talk about some realistic price predictions of how low cryptos can really go. Should you be holding altcoins? What should you be doing? In this video, we're gonna be covering all of that. So make sure you stay tuned into the end. Subscribe with notifications on if you've not done so already so you don't miss these time sensitive videos. And make sure you smash the like button and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about this video and your thoughts and opinions on the current crypto market. So as we see, Bitcoin sets new lows today. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have hit new lows, especially Bitcoin. Bitcoin hit about $32,000. Last week, remember, Bitcoin was just about $40,000. Cryptocurrencies have crashed substantially and have done so very, very fast. And all of this is happening because of economical FUD, interest rates, the balance sheet, all of this stuff is basically political. But we are also seeing turmoil all around the world, especially in an economical manner where inflation is reaching record peaks all over the world. But isn't inflation supposed to be a good thing for cryptocurrencies? Why are cryptos going down if inflation is the reason for people to buy and invest in cryptocurrencies? We're going to be talking about this as well. So here is one thing. It's called the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, and we are at extreme historical levels of fear for cryptocurrencies. Whenever people are extremely fearful, panicking, selling off everything and thinking things are going to go to zero. Cryptocurrencies, obviously, the sentiment is extreme fear. The last several times cryptos have hit the fear level of 11 has been actually the bottom. It's been the bottom of the crypto market. A lot of people use these levels to purchase cryptocurrencies because it is a good bottom indication. When fear is at an all-time high, that's usually when things begin to bottom out. Just like when things are pumping, like Dogecoin last year, people were super greedy. When people are at extreme levels of greed, like we saw at the exact top for cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, a lot of altcoins, when they reached the exact top last year, that is when people were extremely greedy and that's when things topped out. The same thing is literally just the opposite with cryptocurrencies. When people are at extreme fear, that's when things bottom out. And when people are extremely greedy, that's when things top out. So this is surely an indication that we are maybe at the bottom or getting very, very, very close. So if we go ahead and take a look at the current crypto market, we have seen Bitcoin just capitulate go down substantially. And today we broke a low that we have not seen since January. So since January, remember Bitcoin bottomed out about 33,000. We finally broke that today. And the next major support levels for Bitcoin are going to be about 30,000, 28,000 in that range. Some people are calling for cryptocurrencies to go lower and for Bitcoin, especially to hit around 24 to $26,000 as we see in this beginning article which from our current move is about a 20 to 30% move for most cryptocurrencies. So if Bitcoin goes another 20% down, which would reach about 26 to $24,000, that means all coins would potentially see a move of about a 30% move to the downside. But when that number is reached, that would be the bottom or the start of a bull market. When things begin to turn around and bounce up quickly. As we notice, if we previously look at when cryptocurrencies have crashed and gone down, we do see that when they are extreme levels of fear, when things are panicking, when things are looking like terrible, that is when things bounce up very quickly. Just remember the crypto markets recover and bounce up very quickly when they reach certain levels. And that is because the whales have to buy at these levels. They are super cheap. Cryptocurrencies are super cheap and not only for whales, but retail investors as well. When they see cryptocurrencies at specific levels like Bitcoin, $30,000, like we are just about right now, that is a good sign, a really good sign and a really good buying opportunity for a lot of people. And that is what pushes up prices of cryptocurrencies and bounces them very fast. Now, cryptocurrencies do have some hope of a bounce this week, but I do believe it will be short lived. It could actually end up being the bottom of the market. But what's really driving the price of cryptocurrencies down is the US dollar. The US dollar is gaining strength against many assets. And that is when cryptos go down. When the US dollar goes up, cryptos go down. As we see, the US dollar is pumping. Just the opposite is happening for cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin included. But today we are seeing a little bit of a pullback finally 
And to measure and to monitor the US dollar, you can look up the ticker symbol, the DXY, which is the dollar index compared to other assets and currencies around the world. And it is going up. But today we have finally started to see a little bit of a dip and that's why we are seeing cryptocurrencies bounce up a little bit. We're seeing the NASDAQ bounce up a little bit. We are seeing a little bit of a recovery today um, from the bottoms. And not only cryptos are down, but the NASDAQ, everything in the stock market is down. Everything is down, the SPY, the NASDAQ, S&P, everything is down, but we are bouncing up a little bit. So if you want to understand really what's happening in the crypto market, look at some of the indices, the NASDAQ especially, is which Bitcoin follows, which is the tech stocks, the tech sector and the economy. Bitcoin does and cryptos do tend to follow the NASDAQ. We did see some pretty heavy lows today for the NASDAQ and many indices in the stock market, but cryptos are bouncing up just a little bit. Now, there is a catalyst this week, the CPI reading, which I've been talking about for about a week now, especially my Patreon, where I give you guys my hidden updates and insights into the market. You can even copy and follow all of my exact trades. We have a whole bunch of trade alerts in there, scalping plays, quick trades. If you want to get access to that or even speak to me on the phone, go ahead and join the Patreon right now. It is in my top pin comment or in my video description. But as of right now, we just need to take a quick look at Bookmap. Let's see what's happening with the liquidity in the market. In Bookmap, we are able to see the liquidity where all the orders at, what the whales are doing. And there is still a whole bunch of liquidity on the lower regions like we watched last night where I said, Yes, we are getting close to the bottom, but I think we're heading down. We did continue to head down and we saw so many orders. By zooming out, we saw so many orders in the lower regions and we finally got really close to where most of these orders are taking place. And if we zoom out even further, we can see, guys, there is a whole bunch of orders for Bitcoin at $30,000, $29,500. We are seeing 700 Bitcoins just sitting ready to be purchased at $30,000 at $30,000. And if we zoom out, we don't see much orders above. Usually there is orders all spread throughout the order book, but we are not seeing that, which does give us an indication that the whales do believe that there is going to be further downside. And these are people when they're putting hundreds of Bitcoins in specific levels, they have inside information and they know what's about to happen most of the time. And we are not seeing these orders on the higher levels. That can change in a split second, but that does show us that the sentiment is very bearish, that the whales do believe in more of a bearish sentiment. But currently, looking at our current ranges in these smaller time frames, we do see there is a lot of liquidity for Bitcoin at 32.6 and even in the lower regions. So we might see a continued little bounce today. We do not know. But and if you want to get access to the book map, you will have the link in my video description. But here is the thing, ladies and gentlemen, continue to watch because we have some important things to cover and to talk about. There is a catalyst potentially about to happen Wednesday or even tomorrow that might bounce the market up at least temporarily. I think the market is going to be seeing a little bit of a bounce. Uh, that bounce will most likely be short lived, but it would be a good opportunity to take profits to get out of the market. And based on how the charts are looking after that, there might be a little bit of a pump. We will probably continue to head down. But there also is the possibility and scenario that cryptos might actually bounce. That today was the bottom of the crypto market and the stock market for the next several months. And it may be the start to the bull run. Bull runs start when the crypto markets bottom out. The CPI reading is going to be done Wednesday, 8 a.m. Eastern, where they're going to be reading the inflation report. So if the inflation report is higher than expectations, which has been happening, and we have been reaching historical levels of inflation, which the Fed has been speaking about, that might actually be a very bullish catalyst, at least in the short term, to bounce up cryptos, to bounce up the crypto market, where there will be a lot of trading opportunities where we can be making money and quick profits and trades in the next several days throughout this week. So we'll keep a close eye on that. We'll have to take a look at the charts, especially in the Patreon, where you will be getting these buy and sellers and updates and what to do in these times. But if we go to CoinMarketCap, we can see that cryptos again are down another 6%, Bitcoin Ethereum down 6%, BNB taking a beating 10% down. We have Cardano 10%. Guys, Cardano is 66 cents. Solana is $69, 10 percent down. XRP major discount 8% down. We have Dogecoin down 10%. Dogecoin is at 11 cents. This is crazy. We have Shiba Inu 16, 17, about 15% down. 
what the heck is happening. It's just a lot of fear. It's a lot of panic. As you notice that the smaller coins are having the bigger sell-offs because people are panicking. A lot of people that hold the smaller coins, the majority of them are retail investors, new investors into this space, and they panic when they see red. They haven't experienced crashes like this, like we have experienced many times before in this channel and community. And it is normal. Crashes happens. All, crashes happen all the time. Dips happen all the time. These things happen all the time. We have experienced them over and over again. This is not a reason to fear or to go crazy because cryptos eventually will bottom out. And getting to the point to conclude this video, I want to show you the chart, ladies and gentlemen. So I personally think that Bitcoin could be headed to about $28,000. We might actually see numbers lower than that. We could see $25,000, $26,000. That is very likely based on the patterns that we are seeing, based on how bearish the charts are. We continually are in a downtrend, but we are approaching we are approaching a balanced zone. The last several times, especially this year, we have come into this very close region here, which is give or take a small area between 30 four thousand all the way around to about thirty two thousand where we where we are at right now this could be an area an opportunity for us to be bouncing here soon so we could be bouncing this could be the bottom we don't know yet but based on the charts there is no indication that we have bounced or bottomed and that there is strong likeliness that cryptos will continue to go down so we're just going to be continually monitoring the charts we're going to be taking a look at cryptocurrencies each and every day especially with all my constant updates so we can have an idea of what to do and how to react to what the market is doing so that we can stay ahead of where the market is going now if you want to learn technical analysis if you want to learn when to buy and sell cryptocurrencies yourself i have a full course that teaches you all my investment strategies everything you need to know about crypto investing and trading including technical analysis you can go to milesginvestments.com and sign up for my course over there and if you want to be able to day trade cryptocurrencies tax-free open up an iTrust capital account the link in my video description if you open up a funded account they will give you a really cool Bitcoin bonus highly recommend it you can avoid taxes and cryptocurrencies for years that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for staying to the end make sure you check out my new channel miles g trading where we do bitcoin technical analysis and trading over there as well check out all the links in my video description including my facebook including my instagram my twitter and i will see you all later